Okay, so let's start with the 20 principles all animal trainers must know. And uh, it all started with, uh, I wrote once on Facebook in October 2010, I wrote that um, we want to have the perfect relationship with our companion animals. And so these days we frenetically study, analyze and debate learning theory and behavior. We have more gizmos and artificial aids than ever, but we seem to have forgotten one thing. A relationship is a natural thing. And then I thought, oh yeah, now I'm going to get, um, you know, everybody criticizing it because, you know, these days you have to be very careful what you say. Uh, but actually, uh, people liked it. Um, so the principles, are, are the, the basic principles of learning are the same. They are the same for us, they are the same for dogs, for horses, for guinea pigs, for rats, for jellyfish, I guess. I've never trained a jellyfish, but they are the same. We have to adapt them though, we have to adapt them to the individual in question because uh, of the senses. Some are, uh, apprehend the signals better with their nose, others with their eyes, others with the ears, you know, it's different from individual to, in to from species to species. And another thing which is important is also different from individual to individual. We can never take a book like a, a, a cooking book and say, okay, dog, now we are on page one and I do like this, you do like that. We have always to adapt to the individual we are working with. Why I tell you that you have to control yourself, control your body movement, control your facial expression, control your timing, and control your emotions. When you train, again, remember, it's not good or bad. It is what it is. If the dog does what you, what you want, fine. If it doesn't, try again. Do it slightly differently to see if it works. And if it works, good. But control your emotions and then finish free. And then you can go outside and to yourself say, yes, I did it. <laughs> but it's very difficult for the animals to understand our uh, uh, outbursts of emotional, you know, very difficult for them to understand and to cope with it. The jackpot reinforcer is a manipulation of the positive reinforcer by substantially increasing its magnitude within a session, the session that you are training, whatever you're training. It's a one-off increase in reinforcement within a session. We can increase the magnitude of reinforcement by presenting the reinforcer in greater quantity, more treats, higher duration, longer, for instance, if you want the dog to be in down, you can put a treat on the floor, put another one, put another one, and you increase the duration. Or by presenting a higher quality reinforcer, higher quality reinforcer. Yes. Okay, tell us, what would you like to change with uh, Lizzie? Well, she's young and I'm just trying to get her used to situations and get her to calm down and not be bouncy. And she's a bit uh, bouncy. Spunky. Yeah, spunky, yeah, okay. Uh, you like that or you don't like that? In certain situations. In certain situations you right. like, and others you right. don't. Sure. Yeah. That's a tough one, you know. That's really a tough one. We do, we do performance, we do agility, or training to do agility. Yeah. So I wanted to have a lot of drive there, yeah. but not necessarily in the hotel. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you cannot always get what you want. <laughs> okay. First, we have to have very clear communication all the time. Because she is waiting, just waiting for uh, the least thing you do that uh, reminds her of, ooh, there we go. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, didn't you say that? Didn't you say that to you? you know? So everything has to be very, very clear. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you have to um, um, uh, stimulate her every day mm -hmm. in situations which um, for, you, you, you don't do agility indoors, right? In barns. In, but not in not in homes like that. Okay, so you you you, you teach her that that kind of behavior is okay there, mm -hmm. but every time you are at home, you don't do anything. Or a hotel, mm -hmm. anything that might give her the impression there. Here we go. Okay, mm -hmm. but you have to stimulate her, which means every day you have to give her an opportunity to show this. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Let's do something just to see how she um, reacts to that, okay? And then let's see what we can do to improve it, okay? So what would you like to do? Well, we can just do like everyone else is trying to do it. 
sit in a stay. Okay, so you can go around and sit, down, stand, whatever you like, you know. Sit. Okay. Free. Remember, you have to have the right intensity, and that doesn't matter whether you work with a reinforcer or an inhibitor. Right intensity and the right, and the right reinforcer as well, and the right inhibitor as well, which varies because, uh, uh, as you know, they are uh, depending, they depend on the conditions, so vary a lot. Think, never forget that, and that will improve immediately your um, success uh, in communicating with your dog.